Shahi's journey towards organic cotton from farm to fashion. Shahi as an organization has always believed in doing things for a more sustainable future. Every day that we spend here there's a constant thought process to see how we can change our way of doing things to reduce the carbon footprint. As the biggest export house of the country, we understand our responsibility towards the planet and we take it very seriously. From the country of India, state Maharashtra, district Amravati. My name is Madhav Giri. I am from Jahangirpur in Amravati district of Maharashtra. We do organic farming on our lands here. One majorly requires cattle stock for the purpose of organic farming. We have around 32 cows and buffaloes here. Cow dung and urine from the cattle stock is utilized in the preparation of Jeeva Amruta, that is natural liquid fertilizer. Apart from organic cotton, we also harvest multiple varieties of fruits and crops on our farms. We prepare our own biofertilizers and biopesticides. The micronutrients are prepared by mixing multiple varieties of pulses and natural oils along with jaggery. As for the preparation of pesticides, we collect cattle urine and cow dung and store it in copper vessels which are later used for controlling pests and protecting our yield. We have constructed four pits on our farms for the purpose of making vermicompost fertilizers. The texture looks exactly similar to that of tea leaves and its preparation takes about 45 to 60 days. One can easily spot different varieties of worms in the compost. Cotton, the king of fibers, has become a necessary component of our daily lives. We have contracted 1,500 acres of land in Amravati district with eco farms in order to grow genuine organic cotton. We expect to produce 3,000 tons of organic cotton from our farms. My name is Rajiv Ganesh Rao Karbade from Karla, Amravati district, Maharashtra. I have been doing organic cotton farming for the past 15 years. We mainly cultivate organic cotton and tuar on our farms here. Once the cotton plant is fully ripe, which takes about 5 to 6 months, we harvest it manually by hand picking. Once harvested, the raw cotton is sent to the mills for further processing. One ball of cotton approximately weighs 5 grams. And hence, one plant gives a yield of around 350 grams of high-quality, authentic organic cotton. Hello, good afternoon. Ecofarms India is more than 25-year-old organization started in 1995 by my father, who was a farmer by profession, to promote organic and sustainable farming methods in our region. We are primarily working with small and marginal farmers, 
with uh, no irrigation facility. Uh, traceability is one of the important aspect of any organic product. At our project, we ensure this by maintaining complete transparency right from the farmer's procurement uh, to the processing at the gin level. All the payments to the farmers are made directly to the bank accounts and farmers are issued uh, purchase receipts which are mentioning the quantity rate as well as the premium paid to them. When the cotton is harvested, it goes to ginning where it is uniquely processed for shahi. Each cotton bale has a unique QR code for traceability towards spinning. Our Shivamoga based Shahi spinning mill has full traceability from cotton to yarn to knitting to fabric processing to garmenting and finally to shipment. In the coming years, we intend to expand progressively. We aim to procure 50% of cotton for Shahi's requirements directly from its own authenticated organic cotton farming. Farm, cotton, ginning, spinning, knitting, dyeing, cutting, sewing, shipping, fashion store. Farm to fashion, the journey never ends.